In this video, you learn how to extract surface data from a specific location in Google Earth to Civil 3D using Global Mapper software. You can start by navigating to your project location in Google Earth. Go to Tools, then select Options. Set Show Lat and Long to UTM. In Units of Measurement, I will use meters, kilometers. Press OK to continue. It is important to reset the view of the location. Go to View, Reset, then select Tilt and Compass. I will sketch a path that we'll use to create an alignment profile in Civil 3D. Select Add Path from the toolbar. I will set my path name to Proposed Road. Move your cursor to the image area, then define your path for the project. I will start by clicking here, then go up to this intersection here. You can continue to define your path that can be used in Civil 3D for projects like road design or pipe networks. Press OK to finish. With the path created, we can proceed to add a polygon that can be used to define the project site or area. Go to name, then set to any name. I will type site. In the image area, I will click four points around the path that can be used later as site. I will click to add my last point for the polygon. Go to style, then set the area to outline. Click here, then select any color that fits your drawing standards. Click on OK to save the polygon settings. The path color can be edited by selecting it, right click, properties. Go to style tab, then click here to set a color. Then hit OK. Click OK again to exit. The path color has been set to blue as you can see. We can combine the polygon and path then export a KMZ file of the location. Select both path and polygon, right click, then select combine into multi geometry. Right click on the new place, then go to properties. Go to style tab, then set the area to outline. Click here, then pick your preferred line color, then hit OK. Click OK to exit. We can now export the site and path by right clicking on the place, then select save place as. I will save my place as proposed road site. Set the type to KMZ, then click save. Now that we have our KMZ file, we can open it in Global Mapper to extract our contour data. We can open the KMZ by selecting Open Data Files, then locate and select the KMZ file saved from Google Earth. Click Open to continue. The site polygon and path have been imported. Click on this icon to edit the settings of this project. Go to Projection tab in the Configuration list. Drop in Projection. Scroll down in the list, then select UTM. Global Mapper automatically sets the correct zone and planner units of the project elements. Hit Apply, then OK. Internet connection is needed to proceed. Select Online Data Source to download. Here, you can load any data source available within the software. I will select OpenStreetMap, then click on Connect. An open street map of the imported location has been loaded. To view the imported geometry, select it from the control center, then drag it below the street map. We can load an elevation data to obtain the surface data. Select SRTM Worldwide Elevation Data, then hit Connect. We now have our surface data. Select Create Contours command to display the contours. You can edit the contour interval from this dialog. I will set my interval to 5 with a multiplier of 1 in 5. Leave the rest as they are, or you can adjust to your project requirements. Then hit OK to continue. Contour data have been generated as you can see. The generated contours have been locked on the view extents. 
the highlighted area can be exported to Civil 3D for design works as a surface. First, you can export a 3D surface. Go to File, Export, then Export Elevation Grid Format. Set the format to DEM, then press OK. Set the vertical units to meters, then press OK. I will type proposed road surface, then hit enter. Go to file, export, then export vector leader format. Here, you can select DWG from the drop list, then press OK. I will set include display labels as separate text layer which we will see in Civil 3D. Press OK, then give the file a name. I will type proposed road, then hit enter. We can use the exported elements in Civil 3D for further design work. Select open drawing, then select the exported DWG from global mapper, then open. Click continue and open the DWG. The drawing contains all our design elements from Google Earth to Global Mapper as we defined previously. Select on any contour, then go to Properties. In Elevation, it has the corresponding level as per the height of the contour. In Layer Properties, the elements were exported as separate text layers that can be hidden individually. To hide the color hatch, you can hide the ISO height area. I will hide all other layers, leaving the site and proposed geometry only. We can open a new drawing from the default metric template to proceed with the design. First, set the data and zone. Drop here, then go to Drawing Utilities, then select Drawing Settings. Set the zone category and datum to the same type as defined automatically in Global Mapper. I will set my datum to UTM WGS84 datum. Set the correct zone from the available zone regions in the list. I will scroll, then select Zone 37 South. Hit Apply, then OK. Go to Drawing Utilities, then select Units. Make sure that the drawing units are set to meters as defined when exporting from Global Mapper. We can now use this new drawing with the zone and the units defined properly. We can copy the path and site from the exported drawing. In this drawing, you can highlight the lines and select them both. Copy the elements to clipboard from here. Go to the new drawing, then select Paste to Original Coordinates. Type Z for Zoom, then E for Extends, then press Enter to view the elements. Our geometry is now georeferenced in this new drawing and we can proceed to add the surface. Go to Toolspace Palette, Prospector tab. Surface can be found here. Right click on it, then select Create Surface from DEM. Select the exported DEM file from Global Mapper, then select Open. You now have a surface with elevation data that can be used for design. We can use the path to define a new alignment. Select Create Alignment from Objects, then select the path and hit Enter. I will leave as defaults and check Add Curves, then hit OK. I will go to Profile, then Create Surface Profile. Add the surface to the profile list, then let's create a quick profile with the default settings. As you can see, using this method, you can obtain free surface data that can be used in Civil 3D for various design projects. From the profile bands, you can see the elevations at the stations of the alignment. You can use this data to obtain drawings that can be used for preliminary design before taking the real levels on site. The alignment can be used to design a corridor or even a pipe network. Then profiles can be obtained using levels from the DEM surface. And there you have it. We've successfully navigated the process of extracting contour data from Google Earth, generating contours in Global Mapper and importing them into Civil 3D for further design works. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, 
share and subscribe for more content. Until next time, happy designing.